PBX instructor from the telephone company came over to study Miss Tanner's situation. Then her work was arranged so she could devote her attention exclusively to the switchboard. Now she's a welcoming committee of one. Oh my, how far we've come. A PBX, or private branch exchange, is a term that comes from the days when phone systems were just starting to come into existence. A PBX was a phone system that allowed a way for telephone lines to be shared by more than one person. Before PBX, everyone needed their own direct connection to the CO, or central office, of the service provider. This got expensive and complicated, and businesses quickly identified a need for a more efficient way to operate. Enter the key system, a PBX which takes incoming lines from the CO and basically duplicates them across all of the lines in the office. You can actually still find these in use today, or at least the functionality. If you've ever walked into an office that had several lights on each phone and they all blink and ring together at the same time, that was likely a key system. A more traditional PBX came after that, allowing the users of each phone to have their own internal extension. They would then share an outside line, usually by dialing 9, but in the old days, you used to have to call an operator that helped run your phone system to connect you manually. You can still find this dial 9 to get an outside line in use today, which is sadly no longer a technical requirement, and instead exists to appease slow adoption. People don't seem to like change, sadly. Just kidding. Well, kind of. A uh, common requirement for getting rid of the uh, dial 9 thing is to give everyone a full 10-digit phone number. Since people don't like to remember 10 digits to call their coworker, people seem to cling to the 4-digit extension era. As technology advances though, and people are more commonly click to dial, by, or they just select a contact from their phone, uh, you no longer need to know their phone numbers, and we'll start to see dial 9 start to fade away. People today still tend to refer to all phone systems as PBXs though. Uh, in reality, they're more closely akin to a telephone server or a communication server. Common suppliers like Cisco and Microsoft call their products unified communication systems, as they tend to encompass telephony, instant messaging, and video all under one system. Given enough time, we'll start to see PBXs used less and less. If you want to know more about how modern phone systems work, I invite you to take my Udemy course, Introduction to SIP. Use the coupon code TA-YouTube for 50% off. Click the stream to go there now, or use the link in the description below. Thanks for watching! I'd like to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information in the technology space. Like this video if you liked it, dislike this video if you disliked it, leave a comment if your emotions are more complex than that. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.